Well, if the up and down Dallas weather has you in the mood for a great getaway, consider heading to a wine country for a relaxing weekend or week. That's right. Our wine expert and founder of Dallas Uncorked, Haley Hamilton Cogill, has a few ideas to get you ready for your own wine country escape, which is totally up my alley right well, now. I don't want to be in ice and snow anymore, which is so funny to say that in Dallas. But <laughs> I know. We are in Dallas. You know how that is. But And so it'll probably be, you know, sunny. And it'll 70 be 70 degrees, degrees tomorrow. But tomorrow. I wanted, this is great that you're doing wine country getaways, because usually when people think wine country, they think Napa, Sonoma, right? And, and there are s s incredibly beautiful places, and I have talked um, a lot, you know, I, mm -hmm. I love Napa. I, well, it might be my second home, but mm -hmm. um, but there are so many other places, and one of the best ones is actually just right here um, in Texas. So oh, coming more and more wineries in Texas. There now. are a lot of wineries, and the fact that yeah. some of these wineries actually have guest houses makes it even better. Mm -hmm. So this, um, the first photos we have are from um, Fall Creek, oh, yeah. which is in Driftwood, about 30 minutes outside of Austin. It's beautiful. Yes. It's such a beautiful place, owned by Susan and Ed Aller. You know, their son is Chad Aller, who owns Deep Eddie, uh -huh. and they have Fall Creek Vineyards. Um, they have this beautiful two-bedroom guest house that you can stay in for $375 a night. So what? for two couples, it's a great deal. Visit a lot of those, um, visit a lot of the wineries that are right around there. Have a little getaway. You can cook. It's one of those places. I love staying in a guest house in oh, particular because yeah. then you can have a night in and you can mm -hmm. actually have a, you know, get some, get some food and grill out and just really enjoy the fact that you're in this beautiful place in the middle of vineyards. Which Instead of being cramped in like a hotel A hotel room. where you can't, mm -hmm. and then you can't really be communal, especially if you're going with friends, which brings us to our next spot. Um, we actually just got back from from taking some friends up to Willamette Valley wow. and this is Red Ridge Farm and Durant Vineyard it's their Stony Crest Cottage beautiful two-bedroom cottage there's just something really special mm. about having an opportunity to to be in the vines and mm -hmm. walk amongst the vines in the mornings they also make olive oil they're one of the few olive oil producers in Oregon and in, in northern Oregon that's Paul Durant who um, whose family started at Durant Vineyards 40 years ago in 1973 and then a handful of years ago they started this great olive oil production as well and you can do an olive oil tasting and and an olive and a wine tasting mm. with him both tasting the the olive oils in individually, which is a really kind of cool thing to do, just to really get the nuances of fresh olive oil mm -hmm. with the spice and the grassy notes and kind of figure out why those flavors are so good and, and right. why it is so healthy for you, as well as some food pairings, which is also, you know, always, always oh, an extra little treat, bonus Love treat. It. <laughs> um, then the next one, I did want to kind of point out a great place in Sonoma, one of the most romantic places that we have ever stayed oh, is the yeah. Kenwood Inn and Spa. No TV massive, you know, great, uh, just beautiful beds, beautiful spa. The spa is amazing. Um, they have a port bar. They, they, you can get a little glass of port and, and little amaretta cookies. Mm -hmm. And, and it's such a romantic place. The beds are just like feather beds oh. to the ninth degree. One of the most beautiful, beautiful places. Um, rates start at about 375 a night. That room oh, is no, gorgeous. Is that more like a hotel setting? It, it's, it's, it's an inn. Mm -hmm. and it's a bed and breakfast. You do have breakfast included with it. And and like I said, their spa is just amazing. Really, really and beautiful. And the weather's place. usually really nice. It's, you know what? It's always <laughs> sunny and beautiful in California. Right, right, right. So always lovely. Next one, you know, it's Harvest Down in South America. So Harvest in Mendoza, best time to visit. This is the, the Cavas Wine Lodge in Mendoza. Um, you rent an actual casita, so you have oh. your own little home amongst the vines. This is one of their casitas looking out in the Andes Mountains, oh, wow. sitting amongst the vines. Great spa, beautiful pool, also a plunge pool mm. right outside your door. Al Come fresco in. showers. Larry Let's go. likes an al fresco shower for some reason, <laughs> so he's always all over this. Great little little restaurant. I'm having lunch there with Walter Bressy, who's one of my most favorite winemakers. So you get to visit the vineyards. Actually, have a few Argentine Malbecs in your glasses, ladies, because I always want to. So want to drink. Make that. sure you have a little something. Um, it is a casita, so you have um, you have a, a whole kind of home. Okay. Um, rates start at about seven hundred dollars a night it is a relais chateau um property so you know it's it's high first end, class five gorgeous. star love it i am dreaming of going back Haley, Ooh. you have a dream job I, it's like i do want to get to my last one if you just need to get down and, and get some sunshine because we all do um cancun the um charisma hotels and resorts there are all el dorado 
Resort and El Dorado Casitas, mm -hmm. they partnered with Jackson Family. So you can actually go do a culinary and wine series. That's great. And of at course, the hotel. and you'll have all of this on your on website, website, right? Absolutely. Okay, you can learn more about these great vacation ideas at dallasuncork.org. Uh, such great ideas. I need a vacay. Okay, I we'll be right back. Job. I right. want her job.